Have you ever wondered how often asteroids whiz past Earth? These celestial speedsters, remnants from the formative years of our solar system, are chunks of rock that orbit the sun at speeds up to about 30 kilometers per second. This is roughly the same speed that our own planet travels through space. There are approximately half a billion asteroids larger than four meters in diameter sharing our solar neighborhood. Now, asteroids have a knack for capturing public imagination. You've likely seen headlines describing asteroids as bus-sized or half the size of a giraffe, or even as city killers and planet destroyers. And it's not just the media. Hollywood, too, loves to explore the catastrophic possibilities of a major asteroid impact. The threats posed by asteroids are indeed real. It's believed that around 65 million years ago, a massive asteroid struck Earth, causing a mass extinction event that wiped out most dinosaurs. An object just four meters in size, or roughly half a giraffe, can pack quite a punch if it's traveling at 60 kilometers per second. But let's move beyond the sensational headlines and movie plots. What does the reality look like? How many asteroids actually hit Earth, and how many simply pass us by? What is the actual risk of a direct hit? NASA's data suggests that while there are far more small asteroids than large ones, it's the big ones that cause the most damage. Our planet frequently experiences low-impact collisions with small asteroids and rare but highly destructive encounters with large ones. In most cases, the smallest asteroids disintegrate upon entering Earth's atmosphere, never reaching the surface. Those that do make it through often produce a spectacular fireball, a bright and long-lasting version of a shooting star. Any remnants that hit the ground are known as meteorites, so asteroids are essentially remnants of our solar system's formation, zipping around at great speeds. But how often do they come close to Earth? Let's take a closer look in the next section. Asteroids have certainly captured our imaginations, thanks to Hollywood. Blockbuster films paint a picture of massive space rocks hurtling towards our planet, causing widespread destruction and chaos. These portrayals have given rise to some vivid descriptors. You've probably seen the headlines, asteroids the size of a bus, a truck, or even a vending machine. Sometimes they're half the size of a giraffe or a whole giraffe. And let's not forget the ominous city killer, planet killer, or god of chaos asteroids. These dramatic labels certainly grab our attention, but they often paint an exaggerated picture of the real risks we face. Yes, asteroids pose a real threat. After all, it was likely a colossal asteroid that triggered the extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. But how often do such events happen? While these portrayals can be entertaining, they also raise the question, what is the real threat of an asteroid hitting Earth? The threat of an asteroid hitting Earth is real, but what exactly are the odds? Asteroids, remnants of our solar system's formation, are constantly whizzing around our planet. Imagine half a billion chunks of rock, some as large as four meters in diameter, hurtling at speeds comparable to our Earth's own velocity. They're the silent, unseen travelers of our cosmic neighborhood. Their ability to capture public imagination is undeniable. Thanks to Hollywood, we've seen the potential chaos an asteroid strike can cause, splashed across our movie screens in vivid detail. And it's not just fantasy. The threat asteroids pose is quite real. About 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs were wiped out, likely due to a massive asteroid impact. Even a four-meter object, roughly half the size of a giraffe, traveling at a relative speed of up to 60 kilometers per second, can pack a significant punch. But let's move beyond the sensational headlines and consider the real risks, the hard numbers. How many asteroids actually hit Earth and how many merely pass us by? When discussing the threat of direct hits, the size of the asteroid matters. There are far more small asteroids than large ones, and thankfully, these smaller asteroids cause much less damage. While Earth does experience frequent collisions with these smaller asteroids, the impacts are typically low. Many of these small asteroids largely break up when they hit Earth's atmosphere, failing to even make it to the surface. When a small asteroid, or a meteoroid, which is smaller than an asteroid, does hit Earth's atmosphere, it often results in a spectacular fireball, a long-lasting and bright version of a shooting star. If any surviving fragments of the object hit the ground, they are called meteorites. But most of the object burns up in the atmosphere. So, while the threat of an asteroid impact is indeed real, it's important to remember that most smaller asteroids break up in Earth's atmosphere and don't make it to the surface. It's a cosmic game of chance, with Earth's atmosphere acting as our protective shield. So how many asteroids actually fly right past Earth? you may wonder. Well, let's delve into a bit of simplified math to get a sense of how many space rocks might be whizzing by our home planet. Imagine Earth as a sphere with a radius of about 6,400 kilometers. Now picture an asteroid about the size of half a giraffe, or four meters, 
on a trajectory that intersects with our planet. On average, we can expect this to happen about once a year. But what if we expanded that sphere? If we doubled the surface area of Earth, creating a sphere with a radius of about 9,000 kilometers, we could anticipate twice as many encounters. That's two four-meter asteroids coming within about 2,600 kilometers of Earth's surface each year. And if we doubled that surface area again, you guessed it, we'd theoretically see four asteroids within about 6,400 kilometers of our planet annually. But remember, this is just a rough estimate. Now, this might sound a bit alarming, but remember, most of these asteroids are quite small. Even if they were to enter Earth's atmosphere, they would likely burn up before reaching the surface. And for those that do make it through, they often land in uninhabited areas or in the ocean, causing little to no damage. It's also important to remember that we're constantly improving our ability to track and monitor these near-Earth objects. Scientists across the globe are working tirelessly to identify and catalog asteroids, helping us to better understand their trajectories and potential risks. So, while asteroids do often pass close to Earth, most are small and pose little threat. With ongoing research and observation, we continue to increase our understanding of these fascinating remnants of our solar system.